Hi Sagittarius, Heather here from the Crystal Bang Tarot, here to do your March monthly reading. So this reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising Sign of Sagittarius for the month of March. If you don't know your Moon and Rising signs, I have provided a link below in the write-up. So you can check that out in hopes and find out what those signs are for you. Um, because this is going to be a general reading, and as a general reading, the messages will resonate differently for everyone. So if you want a complete picture of the energy that's around you, um, do make sure that you check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. So again, this is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Sagittarius, and it is for the month of March. Okay, Sagittarius, so you begin with the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is the card of Taurus. So there could be a Taurus around you that's playing an important role in your life. Um, but the Hierophant represents traditional wisdom and knowledge. This represents conventional ways of doing things, expectations conforming to society's norms. So you could, in, in money and career finance, for example, you could be working for a company that's a very large company that has a very traditional way of doing things. This can also represent you wanting to achieve, receive um, higher education, so you could be going back to school. So it can play out so many different ways like that. In love and relationships, uh, oftentimes this represents a very conventional type of relationship or traditional type of relationship and can indicate marriage. So that's the energy that's around you, for Sagittarius. And crossing you is the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is about rivalry and challenges and obstacles that you're presented with. Um, it can also represent um, challenges for sport, um, so for fun. Um, so in many cases, this can represent... If, for, so if, for example, on the Hierophant resonated for with you a little bit more relating to work, this can represent um, some rivalry going on at work right now between you and different co-workers or colleagues. Um, if you are single and you've been looking for someone or, or you're on the dating scene, this can also represent challenges in that way and, and um, rivalry in that way. Now below you, you have the world card. I'm not sure if you could see that on the, on the um, ground here, so I'll just move those up a little bit. So you do have the world card here in your foundation or past conditions that have led to this, this um, present moment. And the world represents completing a goal or lesson. It can also represent travel, but this is usually successful completion of some kind of goal or life lesson or even a, one, a chapter in your life. So you, you've completed something because it's in that past energy, you've completed something already. And I feel like a new opportunity has, has um, opened up. So I'll just give you examples of how this could have played out. So um, for example, if, if this is, relates to relationships for you, this could represent one chapter of a relationship ending and a door and, and you moving to the next stage. So for example, you could have been in a, in a committed relationship with someone, but now you're engaged or now you're married or you're going to get married. So it's that new step, that new stage, because that, 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 um, that life of you being, for example, single, you could have been in a committed relationship, but you were not married yet. Um, that's that new stage happening. Um, so that's how that can play out in relationships. But even in, in your money, career, finance sector, so this could represent, for example, you're now no longer the worker, you're now the manager. So this, you could have um, evolved, and, he, and this is all that challenge and rivalry that's going on. Um, this can also represent that you've, you've, like for example, let's say that you have finished high school, or you've, you have finished your bachelor's degree, and now you're deciding to go to university or college, or you're deciding to go and get your master's degree. So it can represent and play out that way as well. And that's how the, how the world, with that completion, you've successfully completed something, and now you're ready for that next stage. And you have the Four of Pentacles here in your recent past, or this is energy that's still around you, but it is moving into that background energy, into the background for you. And Four of Pentacles can be a card of greed. Um, so this is, you see in the picture here, he's really hugging his pentacles, and pentacles does represent that earth energy, which is a very stable energy. It usually represents the physical assets. 
um, things that you can hold, touch, feel. But it's anything, it really and truly does also represent anything that makes you feel safe and secure and provides stability in your life. So it doesn't just have to be money. It can be your home. It can be where you live. It can be the relationships that are in your life, the people that, that support you and um, have your back. So it can be anything like that. But often it does relate to your assets, your money, your possessions. Um, so this is you being greedy with those. I'm not wanting to share them with others um, because you're desiring some long-term security. So, and that could be part of that new stage in your life that you're ready now to um, perhaps start slowly growing your wealth. So you're being a little bit more wise with your money. Now, if it's the opposite and you've been very unwise with your money, then this is a card that's telling you that you need to be more careful with your spending, Leo. Or sorry, Sagittarius. I am sorry, Sagittarius. Um, now you do have the Seven of Pentacles that's crowning you. And the Seven of Pentacles is about you um, being very patient, uh, very be, being very hardworking, and um, being very reliable. But that success is delayed. You're waiting. This is a card of waiting, um, because and it's what's crowning you. So it's in your in your strengths position. So I do feel Sagittarius like you do have a lot of patience, but. And, and with that Four of Pentacles energy, so, so you have started something. You've planted the seeds, um, you've grown your harvest, or you've grown the crop, but now you're waiting for the harvest. You're waiting for that yield to come in. Um, so you do. it does require you to be a little bit patient um, and, and wait, but that it is success is coming, but it's just delayed, and you're going to be waiting for it. Okay, and then you have the Six of ones here in your position of your um, near future what's developing from the situation and the six of wands is this is about um, you being victorious and successful this is you about re being recognized and receiving good news and this is so it's all about you're being recognized for all of the efforts and all the hard work that you've put into something. So success is coming your way. Um, whatever seeds you planted, whatever you're growing, whatever you're developing, you will be successful. You will be recognized for that. And there will be a lot of good news related to that. But the Seven of Wands is in the position of your viewpoint towards this situation. And or at least your, the situation right now. And you have that rivalry here. So the Seven of Wands is about you defending yourself and protecting yourself against competition. So I do really feel like there is, right now, there's this, this um, or at least for the month of March, there is this um, rivalry, this challenge. Um, people are competing with you, challenging you in, in whatever this relates to, whichever area of this, your life this relates to. And you, you're, but you're standing your ground. Um, you're defending yourself, you're protecting yourself against that competition. But that is, that's what's at the forefront of your focus right now, is protecting yourself against these challenges and this rivalry. And then you have the Empress here, and this is what you need to know um, about the situation. So this can represent other people, can represent her home, work, um, anything that's influencing the situation, but it's also in the position of what you need to know. And you have the Empress, and this is a wonderful energy here. Uh, because she is all about fertility and creation and abundance. And um, so she is that, that person that can take that little seed, plant it in the ground, nurture it, love it, give it everything it needs, all the attention it needs, and it grows into something that produces so much abundance. She's very patient. She, she can wait. Um, she's often represented, not in this card, but she's often represented as a pregnant mother. Um, you know, with that gestation period taking nine months, she, she's, and she's okay with that. She's nurturing that baby within and allowing it to grow. And it takes a long time for that to grow. It takes time for it to develop. So this is what you need to know. And this is kind of related to that seven of pentacles, that whatever it is that you're doing, Sagittarius, it's worth it. And it's definitely worth that weight. Um, but it is something that, that is, is going to be slower moving. It's not going to be an overnight thing. It is going to be something that's going to take time. And in your hopes and fears position or the shadow work that needs to be done behind the scenes, you have the Seven of Cups card. 
and you know so you may have issues um committing to whichever path that you're on here because you feel like you just have so many choices so the seven of cups you see there's seven cups there they're each filled with something different um, and those represent all the different choices all your different um, things that are presented to you all the different paths that you can take and you're not sure which one to go down because you're not sure which one is going to be successful this is also a card about um, wishful thinking and, and dreaming and daydreaming and being caught up in that and wanting and hoping that all these things come to you. And because it is in the position of your hopes and fears, I'm feeling like this is what you're hoping, um, that this is everything that you're hoping is going to come to you. And, um, and that's what it's representing. But, um, but with that Empress here and with that Seven of Cups here, um, it's okay to hope and want all of these things, Sagittarius, but just make sure that you are not just sitting on your laurels and that you're actually taking that action that you need to take to grow all of these hopes that you want to come to you. And then you have the Two of Cups, lovely, lovely energy. And this is in your near future position. Um, or the, uh, op the potential outcome and where you're headed from this. So Two of Cups, it's, um, it is water energy, so it's emotional energy. Uh, water is, water signs are your um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it can represent a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's around you and influencing your life. But the Two of Cups, it's often seen as the card of love and romance um, and partnerships because it does represent, have two people in it that are brought together by the divine because you see the light from the divine coming down from the heavens and um, so it can also indicate um, partnerships proposals marriage um, that is going on um, in your life or that that's around you and this, that this is where this is headed and with the hierophant here you know that kind of so again this could be the next step in your relationship that's going on and that that's where you're headed and that's and you are going to commit to that and it's and it is a very positive card though and it is about success in that partnership and that relationship and that romantic love but if, if this is related more to money career finance for you Sagittarius then this can represent a partnership with someone um, or someone that you're doing business with uh, or investing with and this is a kind of um, business partnership or relationship where there's so much mutual respect that you have for each other um, so it's that kind of a connection if, if you're looking at it from a, um, a money career finance position it's it's that um, you have a lot of mutual respect for each other you understand where each other's coming where each other is coming from you understand each other's point of view um, and you bring out the best in each other as far as business partnerships go so you kind of you know you, you you pick up the slack for each other so where one person has weaknesses the other person has strengths in that area and that's the type of relationship for money career finance so i'm going to pull one more card for you um well actually two more cards but this is an angel tarot card for any last little bits of insight or that we can get from spirit so sagittarius we have the nine of air so you could be expecting the worst right now so and um, having problems sleeping is and and i think this is related to this this um rivalry and you being so focused on defending yourself because you're expecting the worst but be careful of self-fulfilling prophecies because when you expect the worst sometimes you know you, you, you attract that energy to you so um, make sure that you're believing in yourself and you're focusing on all the positives that are going on in your life right now so I'm going to pull one more card a romance angel oracle card for any last little bits of insight related to your relationships love and family and we have very soon okay Sagittarius so clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And that's part of this. So be, be very, you know, again, focus on what it is that you want, what direction you want to go in, and just kind of seize the bull by the horns and go with it. Um, because you, you have so much opportunity here in this, this direction that you're going in. And um, there's a lot of abundance and a lot of um, 
cards that, that speak about success and just you just need to be patient. Um, you've got to go for it, but also be patient and put in that effort and that hard work. So Sagittarius, this concludes your reading for the month of March. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please like, share, subscribe and click on that notification bell so you are notified when the April reading comes out. Also, I've done, I'm doing the readings a bit differently. I am now doing, um, I'm no longer doing the mid-month reading. I'm now doing a weekly pick a card reading. And that is where there's three different readings and then you choose which one is for you. If you have happened to catch those readings, please um, send, me, send me some comments. I'd like to know what you think of them and if you are enjoying them or if you'd prefer that I go back to the uh, mid-monthly reading along with the full monthly reading. So again, thank you for watching Sagittarius and take care.